What is the most terrifying thing you've ever experienced while home alone? I have been pretty fortunate based on these comments but I was home alone one night while my wife and son were visiting my mill. I walked back to our bedroom to see someone rummaging through my son's room on the video baby monitor. Immediately grabbed my firearm and yelled to the other side of the house I am armed. Come out slowly. Over and over while slowly making my way back to his room. Got there flipped on the light and, nothing. Searched the whole house pumped full of adrenaline. Finally satisfied I was alone I went back to my room and the guy was back in the room. I took a closer look and I am ashamed to say I was looking at myself. The camera is a live feed on our Wi-Fi and it was steaming on a huge delay. I have never known it to do that and it has not done it since. TL, doctor went looking for myself and came back empty handed. Somebody tried to break into the house while I was by myself. The whole place was quiet and dark at night time. I walked past the front door to go upstairs for bed, and the handle suddenly started jerking around like the Hulk was trying to get in. Then whoever it was started to either kick or shoulder the door, and it was making the whole frame jiggle. I completely froze and my mind went blank. Just standing there like an idiot and staring. My dog bolted down the stairs like it was her time to shine, scrambled on the tile, and let loose the most vicious barks I've ever heard. Whoever it was left. She was a very good girl. I miss her. I was chilling on the couch, doing whatever, when suddenly a really heavy person starts sprinting in our attic. Sounded like steel-toed boots and everything. I'm a really small woman, so I immediately freaked out, thinking there's a gigantic man stomping around my home. Then the screaming starts. Literal fucking screaming, like something from the exorcist, and there's multiple voices. I sneaked outside and cried, extremely shaken, and called the cops. Guess what's in my attic? Not a big rape why rapist, no. Raccoons. Also, the raccoons were mating. That's what the screaming came from. I bawled to the cops about horny raccoons. When I was young, I came home from a party in the middle of the night, when my dad were out of town. I started making a midnight quesadilla when I heard someone cough in the basement. I yelled and ran outside, and they took off through the backyard. Come to find out, my dad's ex chef's daughter stole her key to our house and came to rob us. She was busted a couple years later doing this to her sill. I was about 21 or 22 and living by myself at the time, and I left my window open on a pleasant night. It was low enough to the ground that you could get in if you really tried, but the screen wasn't easy to take off and I lived in a fairly safe neighborhood so I didn't even think twice about it. Woke up in the middle of the night because I smelled smoke, and I reached out to turn on my lamp and my hand hit what was very obviously a person. My brain fully woke up at that point, and I realized there was a shirtless man in my bedroom, smoking a cigarette and staring at me. I remember yelling for him to get out, and I must have spooked him just as badly as he spooked me because he leapt out my window and took off. I slammed it shut and moved a bookcase in front of it, and when I went out the next morning in the daylight found the screen sitting against the house. Didn't sleep the rest of the night, and I haven't slept with a window more than cracked ever since. I also absolutely refuse to live on the ground floor of a building. I don't know if he was planning to rob me or rape me or both, but it was absolutely terrifying and makes me wonder how many times it happened and I didn't wake up. A few years back I was home alone during a power storm. I went into the bathroom to take a dump and at the exact time I was shitting I sneezed, well the power went out as well. The house was pitch black and I literally thought I shit myself blind. I couldn't see my hands so in a panic I was yelling no this cannot be true I was in a panic feeling for the toilet paper to wipe and flush. After completing the task I just sat on the toilet trying to figure out how to tell everyone I know that I literally shit myself blind by sneezing while shitting. After about two minutes of complete darkness and dread and panic lightning struck outside and lit up my hallway. Best damn feeling ever. When I was 19 in my first apartment I had someone knock at the door. 
I looked through the peephole and saw this burly, heavy-set man who abruptly started screaming to let him in. He was screaming things like he was going to beat my ass, and kick the door down if I didn't open. I called the cops and as soon as someone got on the phone he started body slamming my door to break in. I was freaking out and crying as they quickly had five cops show up within five plus minutes. As soon as he heard the sirens he quickly walked away and they met him at the bottom of the stairs. Apparently he was after the previous renter but was extremely intoxicated. They arrested him and thankfully he never came back. I ended up breaking my lease and moving out three months later. It was in a very nice neighborhood but it quickly made me wish I was back home with family instead of being on the other side of the United States. I lit two long taper candles for some ambience while I was playing guitar late at night. I was facing the other direction looking out the window while playing and shortly later turned around and went back towards the candles and discovered one of them was completely gone. The stand was still there, but no melted wax just a bare candle holder and the other one was still lit and no shorter than it was when I lit them. It was almost 3 am and I was so terrified that I got in my car and left and drove to my dad's house. When I was like 14, I was home alone one night around 10 pm stood in my kitchen making some cereal. It's dark outside and then all of a sudden the loudest sound. Some drunk woman literally launched a hammer through my kitchen window was so loud and glass was everywhere. I followed her down the street whilst calling the police. Pretty strange. Edit for everyone asking why I followed. So the reason I actually followed her was because you could see really clearly through the smashed window as it was now wide open. She looked like a very fragile little old crackhead lady that could barely walk or see straight and she started stumbling away mumbling some shit once she had done it. Plus I didn't really know how the fuck I was gonna explain this shit to my parents if I didn't have a solid answer ha ha. But yes, it was a very distressed walk whilst following her. Definitely an action caused by adrenaline too. One afternoon someone knocked at my back door. I thought it was the guy coming to read our meter, so I opened the door. Next thing I know, two huge guys pushed into the house, and one of them threw me up against the wall. Then they shoved me down on the couch. They told me they were hell's angels, and they were pissed because my BF was selling too much drugs, cutting into their profits. They kept calling me by my next door neighbor's name. We had suspected they were selling drugs. All of the people stopping by for less than five minutes made it pretty obvious. I just kept telling them I wasn't her. One of them searched the house, while the other kept me pinned to the couch. They started to realize they were in the wrong house, because they couldn't find anything where they were told it was. My neighbor's house is a single floor, with a basement. My house is a four level, back split. Then I showed them my mail, because it showed my name, and they knew they fucked up. They started telling me that they were after my neighbor's BF, because he raped their cousin. Which I knew was BS, but I didn't care, I just wanted them to leave. They robbed me of my cash, and left. I now have locks on my screen doors. I was asleep at home alone. When I turned over in bed, I casually opened my eyes a little whilst turning and they were shut again just as quickly. In that split second, I could have sworn I had seen a man stood at the bottom of my bed. I laid still. Awake with my eyes closed. Trying not to act like I was awake and trying to listen for any sound in the room of someone breathing or moving. Couldn't hear anything. I was too scared to open my eyes and look, consoled myself that there wasn't any way someone could have gotten in without me hearing a window smash and fell back asleep. When I got up in the morning though the front door was open. They didn't take anything and left no signs of being there. Was still very very creepy though. Edit, typo, the guy wasn't a stud he was stood. This happened to me a couple of years ago. I have also lived on my own a long time so do not get sacred easily. I had just finished reading in bed and I turned my lamp off and settled down to go to sleep and hugged my cat up close to me. This would be about 1.30 in the morning. I closed my eyes and I had a voice say meow like imitating a cat. 
My window was open so I though it was just someone being weird outside. I opened my eyes and in the middle of my bedroom was a small boy wearing a red jumper waving his arm above his head. I leapt up like a goddamn ninja and put the light on. And my heart was going mad. Now, nothing paranormal has happened in this house, ever in the entire time I have lived here. I spent the whole night totally freaked out, only getting a bit of sleep when it started to get light outside. My friends thought this was hilarious when I told them. I was saying there is no way I am living in a haunted house and started googling cleansing, exorcists and what not. The next few nights other weird stuff started happening. I started sleeping with the TV on and as soon as I tried to get any sleep, I would hear freaky voices coming from it, or I would notice shadows dip by the side of my bed. It was dreadful. I actually resorted to saying out loud I'm really tired, so if you could not haunt me for one night I would be really grateful. I had never really believed in any of this sort of stuff before, so it was like an entire paradigm shift for me. Anyway, I was going on about this to my friends at work, and one of them asked if I was on drugs. Well, funnily enough I had just started taking this new tablet Montelukast for my asthma. When I got home, read the side effects, a rare one being hallucinations. Stopped taking them, no more hauntings. TL, Dr. Drugs made me see ghosts. Update, thanks everyone for all your replies. I woke up to so many notifications on my phone. I did some research myself after I realized what was happening and I found out that it was prescribed mainly to children and to those who struggle with taking an inhaler, here in the UK at least. My asthma was going through a bad patch so they tried a few different meds on me. I remember thinking, if you were a little kid and started seeing stuff like that every night and had no idea that it was the tablets causing it. The thought doesn't bear thinking about. Also, nothing has ever happened in my house since then. Everything is completely normal and I now can sleep with the lights off like a proper adult. My BF worked away from home a lot and I always struggled to sleep on the first night he was away. On this occasion I was woken by the sound of a man shouting and then someone banging on wood or a front door. I jumped up and looked out my bedroom window. Just in time to see a man dressed all in black walking through our garden towards the house. I ran to the front of the house to look out of the front window and make sure he kept going. He did, but he met up with another man dressed in black walking towards my house. I was terrified and called the police, they arrived in a matter of minutes and checked out the back garden but they were gone. Turned out a neighbor had caught them both trying to steal his car and one had escaped through the gardens while the other had run through the roads and they had met up outside my house. I didn't sleep at all that night and my brother came to stay the next night. I'm so glad I live in an apartment now, much more security. You know those tongs in the kitchen that have a spring but a latch to keep them together? I had a pair of those and I put the latch on and put them down on the counter. I went away for a bit and came back and then they jumped off the counter at me. Biggest jump scare of my life. The latch had come undone and they sprung open. But in the millisecond when inanimate objects suddenly come to life and jump at you you don't realize this and totally freak out. One night I was home alone grilling and chilling. Drinking beer and smoking dope, about half lit. Wearing my ho clothes. It was a great time. As soon as I sat down to eat I heard a woman yelling for help and pounding on doors. Once I realized she was wasn't a threat to me I sprinted up the road to find her. She was covered in blood and told me her husband was trapped in the truck he flipped. She kept trying to get me to help her pull him out of the truck and I said lady, I know this is an emergency but I ain't no EMT the worst part was I live in the woods with no cell service, but luckily I was able to get to my landlord's attention so he could call 911 from the landline. I was up until 3 am that night because I could not wind down after the fact. Everyone survived and the guy got out on his own, but it was the scariest night of my life. I was living alone after my ex-husband moved out and the creepy guy across the street who was 20 years older and enjoyed drugs kept trying to date me. He would harass me when I left my house or arrived home and would threaten to rape me. 
I had just started dating my current BF and he helped hang up motion detecting lights outside, I started carrying pepper spray and leaving the alarm on whenever I was home. My BF and I also agreed that if I didn't text him for a certain period of time and he couldn't get a hold of me that he'd go to my house and check on things. I also kissed him on my work calendar just in case. It got so scary that my BF actually moved in a lot sooner than we planned because I felt so unsafe. After creepy guy watched my BF move in and saw him puttering around with project cars in the driveway he stopped harassing me and moved away a few months later. I've never felt so unsafe in my own home, wondering if the outside lights were on because of the neighbor's cat or because creepy guy was trying to break in. Nothing quite that terrifying yet, plus age well. But once I left all the bathroom windows open wide by mistake when it was very windy and I woke up in the middle of the night to the bathroom door slamming open and shut and felt like I was gonna piss myself with fright. I stayed in bed like I was paralyzed and I could feel this cool breeze coming into my room, all the cold air being let in lol. I prayed to whoever above to remove who or whatever it was from my home and asked for my life to be spared, yes I'm a fucking pussy y'all. I got under the covers and called my aunt and asked her to come over as she had a spare key and she did. Her and her husband came with weapons and charged upstairs into the bathroom, no fear. They realized it was the wind pushing the door around, I still stayed with her that night lol. happiness that I just can't seem to get.